Petro Trend's long service awards came just weeks after a significant portion of its manpower downed tools and shut down the company's operation for days. Petro Trend chairman Lindsay Gillette said it cost the company too much, over $100 million a day. If you project that for five days, what you have actually done is you have lost $500 million. And if your operating cost is $400 million of that five hundred million, meant that that $100 million cannot be paid to you. So every day that you are done, you hurt yourself. In a telephone interview with CNC3 on Sunday, Petrotrend President Khalid Hassanali said the recent action by workers cost the company roughly $600 million. As a result, he said the company was preparing for what could be a significant reduction in profits when it closes its books at the end of September. Petrotrend recorded $2.5 billion last year. Speaking at Saturday's ceremony, Chairman Gillette told employees that their action can hurt or develop the company and once it does well, they are the ones who stand to benefit. The more money that Petrotrin makes, is the more that you will get in your pocket. And I want to repeat that, the more you make, is the more that you will get. Just like the IRS, the more you pay them taxes, is the more that you have made as night follows day. He told employees that the company made significant inroads in filling vacancies, an issue that influenced the union's recent strike action. He gave his commitment to working with the unions that represent its workers, saying they are their most trusted partners. President Hassan Ali, meanwhile, said a number of projects, including the upgrade of the Petrotrin refinery, will soon be complete. 659 of Petrotrin's employees were honored on Saturday evening for their long service to the company. I am Kamal Georges reporting for CNC3 News.